वेलकम इन ऑनलाइन टीचिंग गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम महेश कुमार योर मैथ्स टीचर सो एज आर टॉपिक इन टीचर्स इज गोइंग ऑन इन विच टूडे वी विल लर्न फ्यू क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ इन टीचर्स दीज आर फ्यू क्वेश्चन इन विच वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज एज यू आर सींग द फर्स्ट वन हेयर वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई टू एंड बाय माइनस फाइव बाय माइनस सिक्स नाउ एज यू नो इन प्रोडक्ट वी मे चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट नाउ एज यू आर सींग आई हैव मल्टीप्लाई टू बाय माइनस फाइव एज टू इज पॉजिटिव एंड फाइव इज नेगेटिव एंड एज यू नो इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिफरेंट साइन नेगेटिव एंड सेम साइन पॉजिटिव वैन वी विल मल्टीप्लाई टू बाय माइनस फाइव वी विल गॉट माइनस टेन But when we will multiply this minus ten by minus six, we will got plus sixty because same sign positive. Now the second one. Now as you are seeing here, these all the numbers are negative integers. Now uh, I would like to tell you one property. Like if we have even number of negative integers in multiplication then the answer will be positive and if we have odd number of negative integer in multiplication then the answer will be negative now as you are seeing here there are four negative integers here and we know four is an even number that means its answer will be positive so that means there is no need to write the minus sign here we just multiply the normal normally like 4 by 5 by 8 then by 10 like 4 5 za 20 8 10 za 80 and when you will multiply this 20 by 80 you will got 1600 plus 1600 and we know there is no need to write plus sign this is our final answer now third one is here as you are seeing here there are three negative integers and we know three the number three is an odd number and what i have told you if we have odd number of negative integers in multiplication then the answer will be negative so what we do we just write the minus sign and we will find out the product within a bracket like 30 by 20 and then by 5 now when we multiply by 30 and 20 you will got 600 and when you will multiply this 600 by 5 you will got 3000 what the answer will be minus 3000 because there are three negative integers no fourth one is here we have to multiply minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 up to six times now how we can do this now what i have told you like as you are seeing here here we have to multiply this minus 3 up to 6 times so what 6 is what even or odd as you know 6 is an even number so that means its answer will be positive that means the answer will be positive so there is no need to write the minus sign we just multiply 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 up to 6 times and we will got the answer like when we multiply by 3 into 3 we got 9 3 3 is 9 and again 3 3 is 9 and then 9 9 81 and 81 9 is 729 which will be our final answer which will be positive because because of even number of negative integers now fifth one as here we have to multiply this minus 5 up to five times like minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 up to five times now here as you are seeing we have to multiply minus 5 up to five times and five is an odd number and we know if we have odd number of negative integers in the multiplication then the answer comes negative so what we do we will write down the minus sign and we will find out the product within the bracket 
like 5 5 is 25 5 5 is 25 and remaining 5 and when you will multiply this 25 25 you will got 625 and when you will find the multiply of 625 and 5 you will got 3125 which will be minus 3125 because of the odd number of negative integers now next is here as you are seeing here here we have to multiply this minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 up to 200 times so how we can solve this so there is no need to write this minus 1 up to 200 times we if we know the rule that means that means we don't have to write this up to 200 times what was the, what the rule says like if we have even number of negative integers in multiplication then the answer will be positive as you are seeing here we have to multiply this minus 1 into minus 1 up to 200 times and 200 is even that means the answer will be positive and when we will multiply this 1 up to 200 times we will got 1 or we may multiply 1 in any number of time we always got 1 we know like 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 we will got 1 so the answer will be plus 1 and there is no need to write the plus sign so here next question is like here we have to multiply this minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 up to 171 times now as you are seeing here the number 171 is an odd number and we know if we have odd number of negative integer in multiplication then the answer will be negative so that means answer will be negative but when we will multiply this 1 up to 171 times what we got 1 so the answer will be minus 1 so students this is all for today we will learn more in the next session thank you and have a nice day